from the stretch. Here's the pitch. High pop up. James is over. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Red Sox, first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Digging in to try it again, Mitch Moreland. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Now the 0 1. Takes a look at a sinker that stayed up high, but good for strike two. 0 oh, 2 count, here's the pitch. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Hanley Here's Ramirez. the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. He's one for two in the ball game. Trevor May, the six-five right-hander, takes over on the mound. Trevor May. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a curveball right on the corner. Three runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Drilled to the right side, and a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. So he tried to double up with him on a curveball. The problem with that is the first one you recognize, the second one you hit. Nice job. Into the box now, number 11, as he will take strike no one on the fastball one here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 0-1 on its way. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for the Red Sox, and it's not going to help them. It's 11 to three. Digging in once again, James. He enters win. this at bat, one for First two with a walk. Win. Number eight. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Well, there's another line drive single to start the inning here in the middle innings. I tell you what, they are swinging the bats today. They've had a great game plan. They've been aggressive. They've laid off of balls. They've hit strikes. Everything you want, and they're executing to a tee. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 22. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. delivery to him on the way and there's one well above the zone for a ball and he watches one miss outside 2 and 0 now well not a great spot to be in right now 2 and 0 to a great hitter like this this is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. 
Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Standing in now, number 12. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ranging back is Bradley to the track to the wall. Gone! So a three-run blast to deep center here. His first homer here in the series as they just continue to pour it on here. single but you can't afford to give up a three run homer he just caught too much of the plate now he's back to the drawing board no outs and the inning is already an ugly one in now Mays number 21 as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one trying to keep it going a perfect three for three thus far And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Betts at the track. The wall. That runs out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. wishing there was a mercy rule in professional baseball right about now. Hey, but there's no such luck. He's just got to own those back-to-back -back homers and the rest of it until he gets off the hook, which might be very soon. How about it? Stepping in now, Number one. small. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Ready for another chance. Number 11. He was a double play victim last time around. Into the windup and the pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here he is, falling behind. Another hitter, 2-0 and count. You continue to put him in hitter's counts, you're going to continue to get burned. Here he comes on 2-0. and Swing and a shot back up the middle. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. A designated hitter, number four. Ryan. Here's Brian Dozier now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Betts going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Yeah, same here, man. It kind of got lost high in the sky before it one hopped the fence for an extra base hit. During the daytime, that thing probably would have carried out of here, but you can't complain too much about a double. Into the box, Big Daddy, and on the first pitch, he grounds foul. O 
A one pitch on its way. Popped up. Falling for it. Moreland. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. On to the seventh now in game three. Twins lead it 15 to three. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Ready for another shot now. Christian Vasquez. He'll be Boston. tasked with starting That's things it. as we begin Christian the seventh. Vasquez. Here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Well, that is a great speed differential. You want to look at the radar gun? He went from 94 to 81. That is tough for a hitter to cover. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Hit back toward the mound. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, pitching is all about offsetting the hitter. They try to go fastball now up, off-speed pitch down, field. except the Jackie batter did a nice job Bradley of recognizing Jr. the off-speed pitch and getting it for a base hit. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 0 and 1 delivery. And a fastball just a bit high. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Ready once again, Xander Bogarts. His prior history in this matchup, hitless in three at bats. Oh. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The set and the one one pitch. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Oh, and he botches it. Vasquez rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at that deficit. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice Second job baseman, there. Yeah, Justin you've got to McCoy. find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia Mays has a beat on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning now stepping in Andrew Benintendi Andrew he flew out Benintendi. in his last at bat sent on the ground out to second small has it throw in time and the side is retired Red Sox settle for just the one seventh inning stretch upcoming here in the Twin Cities Minnesota leads this one 15 to 4 Heath Hembry comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one 
In now, big dog Decky. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Big dog Decky. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. Well, they've put a lot of runs the whole Number game, eight. and the game plan to me is simple. They've been aggressive. They've hit the first pitch like he does right here and gets the base hit, and they've done it throughout the whole game. It's been very successful with their game plan. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Into the box now, James, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. One and one, here it is. That's ball two. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Three and, one. and a neck high fastball that time. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Riding in once again, number 22. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Pedroia back to first, but he wasn't able to get enough on the throw, and they'll just get one. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to number first 12. there, and he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. In now, number 12, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. In the dirt and block behind the plate. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Second and third here, one man out. And there's nope. ball two okay. now. Now the runner's on his way home. Now a bunt attempt here. Moreland is right there. And they'll put the tag on him for the out, but he'll at least get an RBI out of it. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing to do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Settling in now, Mays. Great game for him so far. Four hits, including a couple of home runs. Here's the first pitch to him. The runner's breaking for home. Hit hard on the ground is short. And a close play at first, but he's called out of the side is retired. Twins forced to settle for one. Eighth inning coming up. The Twins are in front, 16 to four. Start inning number eight. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. James is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now batting, first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Stepping into the box, Mitch Moreland in his career against this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Oh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Line drive to left. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter, number 11. Stepping up now, number 11. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Number 11 has got it and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Twins are out in front, 16-4. Now in the box, small. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Number one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. One or no delivery. Oh. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, hey. one. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Oh. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a line drive, but foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. No what does he do? Number he just 11. throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll be off the right field wall. Throw into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. So striding in, Brian Dozier. He doubled his last time through. He's set, and the pitch takes a knee-high fastball. One out and a runner on second base. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Ready with the 0-2. And a slider's oh. in the dirt as he lays One off ball. it for a ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Bogarts has it. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. 
Riding into the box. Big Daddy is looking for his third hit of the ball game here. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. Joe Kelly enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Big dog, Decky. Big dog, Decky, will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. He's set. Here it comes. Look out! A fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Whoa, that, that'll get your attention. First pitch out of the bullpen, and it's a fastball inside, nearly hits the batter. Everybody's on edge right now. 1-0 count. Here it is. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Second and third, two away. Three and oh now. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. That one's in there, three and one. I really like what he did right there. Two and oh, he wasn't able to hit the spot he was shooting for. Three oh, he made a better pitch, and now he sits three one. Let's see what he does here. Set. Here's the 3 1. Hit in the air to center field. Bradley is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Twin strand a pair, but not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Back now in the Twin Cities for what remains of this production of baseball on MLB Network. Off Stepping the in, off. Christian Catcher. Vasquez. He'll Christian lead it off with his Vasquez. guys needing a ninth Here inning rally win. here if they're going to force now a game four. For Matt Belial comes on to start the Matt inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Now a swing and a fly ball. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 0 1. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Hit on the ground to short. Right to him. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Here's the first pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. It can be tough to lay off a high fastball like that because right at your eye level, it looks like it's so easy to hit. And then it's fine. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Big Daddy is there, and there are two men gone now. Digging in and looking for more, Xander Bogarts. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Hey, now. One ball, no strike. Pitch on the way. Up two around ball. the letters okay. with that one for ball two. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't. Ouch, ah. that one hit him. 
You know with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Runner is back. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here's the first pitch. And a fly ball. And this should do it. Long run for the right fielder. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. And not in time as the run scores. Andrew Benintendi is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Mays is there to make the catch, and they are off to the league championship series. They know their work is nowhere close to being finished, but they've handled their business so far, winning here to punch their ticket to the ALCS and a possible trip to the World Series. Well done. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered with runners in scoring position a couple of times in this one. Finished with five RBIs, and that was obviously a huge factor in them claiming the victory here. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been the AL Division Series.